First of all, I'd like to say with the whole coronavirus going around, it is something to be taken seriously. I do care about all of the families out there that are suffering, but truth is, I'm pretty excited that my brother Eli has retired from the NFL because that means that he can't threaten the fact that we are tied for Super Bowl wins. Because even though the chances of him winning another Super Bowl were slim, as long as he is playing football in the National Football League, he has the opportunity to win another Super Bowl. And if he wins another Super Bowl, then that means he would have three Super Bowl wins and I would have two. So though I wish my brother Eli the best, he is certainly not a better quarterback than his big brother Peyton, though we both know, we all know, that I was a better quarterback and I was simply a better man. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, two-time Super Bowl champion, Michael Strahan here. I just want to say, I hope that everybody is practicing social distancing right now and playing it safe. Nothing matters more than your health, okay? And uh, nobody wants that coronavirus. I can tell you that much. I don't want the coronavirus. I definitely don't. I know you don't want the coronavirus, okay? So stay safe, stay indoors, and... Check out some of the Super Bowl highlights from my two uh, Super Bowl wins. I got two rings, and uh, I'm on Good Morning America right now. So I've really had a successful career, and I'm, I'm very thankful for that. So thanks to you for checking out the shows, and uh, enjoy this time. Uh, you know, uh, everybody's talking about the coronavirus, you know, whatever. You know, it's like the Bud Light virus, who cares, you know? Hey, yo, Adrian, what do you think about the coronavirus, huh? Yeah, it's no big deal. I'm not worried about it, you know? It's like, I'm in the gym every day with Mick. I'm not exposed to social distancing, you know? Me and Mick, we train in my house here, you know? So, I guess what I'm trying to say, you know, you stay away from other people for the most part. You keep doing your thing. You can be productive at home, you know. You hit the punching bag or whatever. Hit it at home, you know what I'm saying? So I knock, the, knock them out, you know. You can knock them out. So, you know, I'm just over here, you know, doing social distancing, you know. Kids stay be safe, you know. Don't do drugs, you know. Do some social distancing and stuff gonna be fine we'll get through this you know Mick Mick Mick's been coughing lately you know I'm I'm, I'm a little nervous for Mick you know he's been coughing he's kind of my you know he's kind of like a parent where I, I'm a little bit worried about Mick right now you know I gave him one of these things you know so, yeah, be safe these are tough times Hi, first of all, my, 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 my mom said, my, hoo, hoo, mom said that, 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 I shouldn't go outside right now. There's a thing in place called a, a, a social distancing. You, know, you don't want to get within six feet of one another. Then, hoo, then, Vicky Valencourt said that's stupid. You know, she, want, she wanted to come over and show me her boobies. But I said, Vicky, no, 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 no. That's who it is. As, as much as I wanted see those boobies and, 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 and touch your tongue with my tongue and do the the, the kiss you know, I, I, I gotta make sure that I, I, I don't become a carrier right now because you, you become a carrier you, you give it to other people and then all of a sudden you're part of the problem all of a sudden you're not part of the cure but you're part of the disease and that's that's just selfish I'm thinking about you know giving other people Vicky Valancourt I want to have sex right now when other people could be dying <laughs> My mama said that, that Vicky Valancourt is the devil, and, and if she wants to do that, she really is the devil. Oh, the coronavirus. Oh, I'm so sad. Oh, 
COVID-19. I do not see you. Where are you? I practice good social distancing. Give me that hoo Ha, I like you. Do you want to come to my place? We're doing social distancing. You can keep a six foot radius between me and you. We don't have to have sex. If you want to though, very nice. I won't tell anybody. Nobody wants to have sex with me. That's fine. I'm happy to have sex with myself. I fine. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jim Carrey. How's everybody doing tonight? Alrighty then. I hope everyone is steering clear of COVID-19. If you're not practicing social distancing, you may as well check yourself into a mental institution. <laughs> What's the deal with the coronavirus? Everybody's panicking. Oh my gosh, the stocks are down. Oh, Wall Street's in a frenzy. Uh, old people are dying. Guess what? It's going to be fine. First of all, I'd like to thank COVID-19 for showing us that we can come together and we can leverage technology to really bring us socially together as one while geographically remaining far apart. So in a way, even though COVID-19 has negative effects, we can see the positive effects that are unintentional or by de facto. I actually don't know what by de facto means. It's out of negligence that COVID-19 actually has a positive effect on society. And that's what excites me. Do you know who you're talking to? I'm, I'm gonna ask you one more time. Do you know who you're talking to? You call yourself the COVID-19? I never heard of you, okay? But I know that some people right now are practicing social distancing. That doesn't intimidate me. I'm gonna give you an offer you can't refuse, okay? You get the fuck out of here. And maybe, um, maybe, just maybe I will not kill you, COVID-19, as you call yourself. Women and children, they can be weak, but men, we gotta be strong. Hey, everybody, what's up? This is Mike Tyson, okay? Mike Tyson. Everybody, of, people are talking about the coronavirus, and you know, is it gonna, is it gonna be difficult to, to to get through this? Of course, we're gonna get through it, okay? Listen, stay healthy, stay in shape, get a punching bag, you know, in your, you can put a punching bag and set it up in your place, you know. I've been working out on the punching bag every day. Every time I look at that punching bag, I just think about whoever I'm fighting. Their face is right there. I just want to beat the fuck out of them, you know? It's fine, though, you know? I just want to even put, like, a head in some ears, like, you know, Mr. Potato Head. So, so I can bite the ear off when I'm practicing, you know? Yeah, it's going to be fine. The coronavirus can't stop nobody, you know? Coronavirus wants to show its face off. You beat the fuck out of it. Coronavirus. I'll beat the fuck out of coronavirus. Coronavirus ain't got nothing on me. That's all I can say. You know, you knock that out. I'll, I'll knock the coronavirus out. Who wants to be a COVID-19 recipient? Regis Feldman here. And uh, I just want to say that we are going to be safe and sound. If you want to be a guinea pig for COVID-19, to see if we can come up with a vaccine, please call the number below, 1-800-COVID-19. We need to come up with a test immediately. Otherwise, more people will die. So please volunteer and make some extra cash. Hey, it's Michael. I know it may seem a little bit weird, considering I passed away 10 years ago. But 
I just wanted to come back and say, I've been preparing for the coronavirus my whole life, and I have about 38,000 of these masks in storage, so if somebody could go into Neverland Ranch and find them, they can use them and give them to the people. I also wanted to say, whoever made the, that documentary about me is just nasty. I would never do those things. How dare you say something about a person that can't defend themselves, okay? I'm up in heaven. How, how would I be in heaven right now if, if I did some of those things? That's because God is great. Okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to, to perform for the trillions of people in heaven now. We'll see you there someday, hopefully not sooner than later, because that might mean that the coronavirus got you, but when it's your time, I'll see you. Who gives a fuck about COVID-19, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I can't wait for? I cannot wait for that 250-person pirate ship drinking alcohol fiesta that we're going on this weekend, bro. Like, eight hours in the sun with 250 people, max capacity on that barge, bro. Dude, it's going to be late. We're going to be getting wasted, bro. I don't even, I hope I don't remember anything. You think I, you think I didn't give a fuck about COVID-19, dude? Like, <laughs> I'm going out on a boat this weekend. We are going to get wasted, man. Uh, I didn't even give a fuck, bro. I, I can't wait to just, like, black out. I hope somebody, like, throws me overboard. I hope I do get COVID-19. So somebody just, like, throw me overboard in some floaties face up. I get a perfect tan, you know, just, like, passed out in the ocean. Just, like, floating on the waves or whatever. Like, you know what I mean? So it's like, I'm just, like, sleeping in the ocean. Like, face up, wasted, getting a tan at the same time. Neck up so sun can tan the underneath part, bruh. That's what I'm talking about, chill, bruh. Maybe some sharks try to attack me and then they get COVID-19. It's like, yeah, joke's on you, bruh. Joke's on the sharks, dude. <laughs> Anybody want to do a shot? Or Can you believe that Tanner was, like, talking about, like, getting passed out on the boat, like, and, like, flying around in the waves? Oh, my. Like, that guy is so hot, you know? Spring break's been sick.